What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Madden 22 video. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down my Raiders mini scheme. So, I mean, I feel like this Raiders mini scheme, which is obviously based off the Las Vegas Raiders playbook, I feel like, uh, you know, it could have been ebook worthy since y'all been supporting so heavy um, with the phase one stuff and on, you know, Twitter and Twitch. I got you guys. I got you guys with a free mini scheme. Like I said, this is ebook content. Thing is, it's April already. You know, Madden's kind of dead. I wouldn't even say that. Madden's actually really, really like all right right now. But, you know, as attorneys and all that, it is kind of dead. Um, I got you guys with a free mini scheme. So, you know, over the course of the next few videos, it's going to be probably three to four, potentially five video series. I'm not going to cram everything into one video and expect it to be, you know, five to eight minutes, you know, potentially upwards of like 12, 15 minutes. Um, um, that's all I got for the, you know, ebook intro. Um, it's going to be pretty solid, you know, and I, when I say ebook, I mean the mini scheme. So I'm going to be going over Gun Bunch, Gun Tray. It's the Raiders tour for crying out loud. Everyone runs it. Everyone knows about it. And, you know, you guys probably already running it. But, you know, if you're watching this, you probably want to add a two. Uh, one or two more plays and i got you for that but before we do all that i'm gonna be have to show you guys my uh abilities and my audibles so this is video one it's kind of the intro um my ideology uh the ap around the raiders tour and then after that it's gonna be the audibles for the raiders tour and when i mean audibles i mean like you know my pre-play audibles and then the audibles i love to do when like what i come out in to what I audible to, so all that good stuff. But before we get into that and the practice mode itself, here are my abilities, 18 AP. Go ahead and take a look. Um, some of this is subject to change, and if I do change it, I will make sure to update it in the next uh, mini scheme video. So this is mini scheme video number one, and let's get into the AP and the breakdown. So I got route tech on Vern, right? I mean, it's it's as advertised, right? When, we, when you're running a Raiders tour, you're gonna have a lot of tight end posts on the field. For example, bunch tight end, when you audible to that, and you will see it, uh, there's a tight end post that we love to run, uh, us Raiders tours. And um, you know, route tech, tight end, self-explanatory, you can put him on a post routes, he'll never get guarded by man coverage, maybe by one step, but you know, Vernon, he's a real deal, he gets the job done, especially on those tight end posts. That's an, all I need to really say about him. Uh, next, we are gonna go to Randall Cunningham. And here's where I'm gonna tell you guys, if you guys wanna wander off, feel free to. I'm not gonna tell you not to use the skate artist, but I have like one or two combos that I really, really do like. And here's the first one. And this is, like I said, subject to change. I knew, knew Rich Gannon came out today. Uh, I'm recording this on Saturday. And then there's a new Josh Allen as well. So, you know, by the time, by the time I drop the next mini scheme video, I might be on one of those two QBs. Um, but for now, I'm using gift wrap. Fearless, Slinger, and Hard Master. And here's my reasoning why I'm not using Escape. It's because all the tournaments, they don't allow Escape. And you know, there's still a little bit of money to be made on Madden 22. I kind of didn't really show off too much in the MCS. So I gotta I gotta make up in Summer Madden. So I'm, you know, really like, for the past two months, I've been rocking no Escape. I, I feel like I'm all right at the game without Escape. I don't need Escape. And, you know, it's going to help me next year when the game drops and there's no escape. It's going to help me tremendously. So that's the reasoning for no escape. Let me tell you the other two abilities. Hard Master Slinger, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, gift wrap. People think I'm memeing with this. Tell, uh, trust me when I say this. Gift wrap is not a troll ability. Go put it on. Try it on. And you will see yourself sig catching uh, significantly more passes than with that with it being off for example and I will show you like rat catches let's just say you rack a wheel route into a hit stick you're gonna catch that every single time yes uh, the KOs are gonna counter this yes I already told you that uh, and you should probably know that by now KOs will counter but gift wrap is very very solid for those low ball wheel routes for any type of you know contested throw I know I throw the crosser on verticals and between coverage a lot and it's, it really helps. And then Fearless for Mills, pretty much, uh, for the 6-1 dudes, the 6-1 demons, uh, pretty much that's why I got Fearless on. If I were to use Josh, I'm gonna have Conductor with these abilities on. Just don't have enough AP for that extra Conductor. I love Conductor, especially when you're running a tour. You could quick hike, quick hike, quick hike. But there's another way we could quick hike, and I will show you guys in the video itself. And then the next two, three abilities, I have one post up. The Robert Hunt zero AP post up. Please put it on if you don't have them already. It's so good. And playmaker. And you don't need this playmaker. You can substitute this two AP with whatever you want. Route tech, 
deep out elites, whatever you want. I just like Playmaker because it's been, it's been what I've been running for hella years at this point. And, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm just comfortable and I love Playmaker ability. So that's my abilities. Um, if you guys don't want to use these abilities, you want to use Escape, probably Escape, Power Master, Pass Lead Elite, if you could even fit that anymore. I know they did a plus three AP. Um, at that point, you know, I really don't know what I could, you know, what you could use with Escape. So, you know, best of luck on that. Um, I'm playing no escape Madden. I've been playing it for the longest and that's what it's about. And then once more, here's the playbooks. 100% should have rocked Raiders playbook at the tourney, the MCS tourney, but that's long gone. That's done with. Let me show you these audibles and I'm gonna get into part two of this video. This mini skin's gonna be fire, bro. The one thing I will say is I highly recommend you rocking Heartmaster with Raiders playbook. You don't need it, but it would help a lot. I'm rocking the package right now. I'm just showing you the audibles right now. In the next uh, video, I will be showing you the plays and the setups. So be patient with that. Forgive me on that, guys. But I'm setting up the audibles real quick and I'm gonna break them down. So just be patient with me and I got you. And guys, comment if you want longer videos, shorter videos, or intermediate videos. I know this is kind of long for just, you know, abilities and uh, audibles, but you know, the more content, the better. Just let me know, guys. That's what we do around here. You know, you guys ask and you know, uh, you know, need help and I got you. That's the return, that's the exchange. So. First off, I'm not even gonna count any of the single backs. I might go into that a little later, but for now, here's what I rock. So gun tight slots, I'm gonna put Flood as my first audible. Um, so I got Flood, this corner out play, it's, it's demonic, man. It's demonic, it's so good. And then in my second spot, I'm gonna put Mesh Spot at the R1 position. So that's that for gun tight slots. Gun tray, I like to put double in sale. This is my two point conversion play. I like to put it in the first slot. So, you know, do that, go ahead and do that. And if, um, you know, if I'm also feeling it, I'll put PA counter go at my R1 spot. I'll leave verticals drag and inside zone there. For bunch tight end, yeah, this, this is kind of rare, but when I'm in my clocking mode, I love running this off tackle. So I'll put off tackle in the first spot. And then in the second spot, you know, I'll keep inside zone. I'll keep curl flat corner and I'll keep boot over. And finally gun bunch, I'll put bunch trail in my first spot. I'll keep base. You know, if you want, you could put, um, I like this dig return play. It's really, really good, especially if you're not rocking escape, especially if you got a uh, conductor on, and then I'll keep it with flood, pretty simple, and the R1 spot, and verticals in the L1 spot. So, you know, this is kind of what a tour looks like for me. I'd usually come out, if I'm on a hash, I'd probably just come out in verticals um, or flood. Keep it very simple. You know, I do have heart master, but uh, if, if your opponent can't beat simple, run simple. And I, you know, come out and you know, flood, set up flood. Trust me, I'll put these uh, setups in the next few videos. And then, you know, I'll audible around. That's what a tour is, man. You could audible around to all the different formations. And pretty much, yeah, like I know a lot of people have been running Raiders tour for a while now. Like I said, it's super cheesy and super hard to stop. But you know, if you've been trying to find an easier offense to run, you want to kind of run meta, but like you don't know where to start, run a tour, whether you run, and a tour means, like I said, you audible to all the formations, the very popular formations and the very high powered formations in your playbook. You know, run Patriots tour, so you can run trips, U trips and bunch, or run what I run in Raiders tour, where you have bunch, bunch tight end, gun tray, which is pretty much trips. And last but not least, gun tight slots halfback week. At least that is all I run. Whatever you want to run, feel free to, um, and you know, make offense very easy for yourself. Um, even me, myself, I know how hard it is to stop this offense. And it's so simple too. It's the easiest way to play this game. Wait until the next few videos, guys, and I'll be breaking down the setups and how to run the best offense in the game to a T. I've been playing in these FNFs and I've been placing very, very well the whole, you know, the whole way. Like I've been getting like top eight finishes, top two finishes, uh, I've been winning some of these tournaments. I've been playing in the gulags, the Slum Ghost gulags, and I've been doing very well. And this is all without escape. Escape is going to make Raiders Tour insane, but you don't need escape. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. I talk too much in this video. Like I said, um, comment what you guys want to see. If you like the longer videos, the shorter videos, and I will adapt and adjust. Till next time, guys, take care. And I'll catch you guys in part two of the Raiders Tour mini scheme.